On this episode of Fin and Feather, join Sarah and myself as we meet up with Sam Sickles from Steelhead Outfitters for a four-day float down the beautiful John Day River. Oh my God, we're on GoPro. We're ready. (laughs) (laughs) Sam recommended that I start off with a top water popper and I was instantly catching fish. There you go. You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> now just raise the rod up and then reach out there and grab the line and trying to. A lot of skill involved. Oh. Lost him. I was trying to think we were still at fishing. Decent fish though. Oh, stinker. Now just lift it up and grab your line. So you're gonna have to strip out some line. There you go. Oh, I got him. Show off that monster. Giant. Oh, my lord, he's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it in so I don't look fat. Thank you. 
After catching so many bass, I lost count. I sit back with Sarah, pour a stiff drink, and take in the sights. The John Day River is 281 miles long and is located in North Central Oregon. It is the longest river flowing entirely within the state and the longest undammed river in Oregon and the third longest undammed river in the continental United States. After about 10 hours on the water, we had caught up with Frank, who was running the gear boat ahead of us. Sam and Frank set up camp while Sarah and I relaxed with our feet in the water and read a book. After a delicious streamside dinner, we sipped on our beers, told fishing stories, and couldn't wait for the day that was ahead of us tomorrow. That's a nice one. The morning was off to a great start. I had already hooked and lost several nice smallmouth bass. Get Sam in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Good looking fish. Red one. Yeah, that is a nice one. Look at the other one swimming. That's a big one. I mean, bigger. They fight hard too. For compared to. Sarah had seen me catch enough fish and was ready to step up to the plate herself. Oh, yes! <laughs> Keep it taut. Keep it taut. Good. Nice job. Okay, right there. Right there. Oh! Nice. I got one. I got him. Oh, oh. Just stand up tall. Just put the rod up. Trust me, the line's heavy enough. Holy moly! <laughs> I'm trying to be the Huber guy. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got it. Turn this way. Turn on me. There you go. Now hold him out with his lip. Yeah. Nice picture of your hand. So take your, if you grab his bottom lip, with your thumb, over the top. Yep. And then you hold him like this. Yeah. You're fine. And the other way. Now turn him right side up. Ah! Uh oh. Ah! Uh oh. That's what we were talking about. That was. I don't think that's how fish you There you go. Just strip. Just strip. Yeah, don't worry about that root. You just stick your thumb in his mouth, uh -huh. and then you pinch him on the lower hill, and he'll go to sleep.
Sarah was bringing one of her bass into the boat, Sam instantly noticed that there was a larger bass trailing it. So he tried the bait and switch. Got it? Yeah! Nice hookup. Oh, yeah. That's how you catch the big ones. And there's a bigger one than this one there, Get his picture with him. Uh, no, I got it. <laughs> I got it. You already yeah. got several like this, but. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Good job. <laughs> Sam Sickles, the Steelhead Outfitters, showed us how to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> so next time we get a little bait and switch action like that going, toss this baby in. As we round a bend in the river, Sam points out a rock formation in the shape of a sheep's head. Sam pulls the bow into a quote so we could go up and see the petroglyphs. It is estimated that humans have been inhabiting the John Day Basin for some 10,000 years. Upper end of the dink scale. That's that's so mean. This is like her second time ever fly fishing. See the quail one of a 17 inch <laughs> side right there. Now yeah, flip him the other way where his back's up. Now hold him there up. There you go. Like he's flat. Across. Like there you go. Hey! Now when yeah. You, when you get him by the thumb, you hold him out in front of you where he's, he's faced this way, but you're holding him by his thumb. Now okay. drop, the, drop the other end of him. Drop him, drop him. There you go. Now hold him up until he's a little more straight the other way. More, more. There you go. That's nice. It. That's, That's a good it. shot. That's a good shot. Now, okay. now. Sarah was done fly fishing and decided to bust out the old pink floaty and go for a float. Sarah enjoyed her float until we pulled over for lunch. Then we secured the floaty and we're off again. That's a floaty holder. Today we've got the floaty holder 5000. <laughs> you just lock it into that notch right there, and then boom, floaty. Oh, the floaty's not even out of the boat yet. It's on the rod. <laughs> Thank you. 
I throw this fish back. I couldn't help but laugh as Sam gives you some one-on-one knowledge on how to oar a boat. So you push the oars this way and it goes forward, you're pulling this way and it goes back. <laughs> We pull into camp for what would be the end of a second day of an epic trip. Sure. He is. Is it nice? Yeah, it looks like a nice fish. He's a nice fish. Yeah. That's a second nice one of the morning. Seeing surplus activity down here. Sippers. When I was changing the batteries all of a sudden to you, it was like yellow sallies were landing on me like crazy. After a short break from fishing and taking in the sights, I set up to fish once again. And wouldn't you know it, my worst nightmare comes true. Sam quickly oars the boat back to where I had knocked the GoPro overboard. We peer into the water and I can barely make out the feet of the GoPro. So over I go. I guess I'm the retriever today. Oh, boy. So, yeah. Hey, check this out. Note to self, when you buy your new one, get really bright colors. <laughs> <laughs> Climb back on board, let Sarah handle the camera, and we capture one last fish to wrap yeah. up an awesome trip. But he ran out from it looked like the dark. Yeah. When all else fails, you bear hug the bass. Um. <gasps> if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to go on a one-of-a-kind, world-class guided adventure, 
Hit up Sam Sickles with Steelhead Outfitters. Tight lines, and until next time.